Uh, I was just listening to a video uh, talking about rapture and stuff, and um, I just wanted to stop quick and record my thoughts. People talk about the restrainer, and I'm not going to say that I know exactly what that is. The common things that I've heard is either Michael, the Archangel, Satan himself, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, like in believers or whatever, um, like the church being taken out of the way. Um, I, I'm not going to say I know exactly what that's referring to. What I don't think it is, um, is what this video just claimed that it was, that, it, that it's the Holy Spirit. I do not think that makes any sense. Um, theologically, chronologically, like thematically, operationally, like if you read anything about the Spirit of God, whether you're Trinitarian or not, like Jewish or Christian, like there's certain things that are said about the Spirit of God that it just, this idea of the Spirit being the restrainer that is then taken out of the way because the rapture happens, to me makes no logical sense, nor does it seem to line up with scripture or God's character or, or the nature of the Spirit of God. So um, the idea is, okay, the rapture happens, and they're pointing to uh, Thessalonians chapter two. Um, I can't remember now, first or second Thessalonians, but it's the part where it talks about the restrainer and 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 he's restraining, um, basically restraining Antichrist. That's the idea of the passage. Um, and if you go along with that idea. The Holy Spirit is taken out of the way, so all the Christians are gone, therefore the Holy Spirit is gone. Um, and the people in the video were just alluding to the idea that, well, you know, that's why the false prophet and the beast and, you know, they have all this power all of a sudden because the Holy Spirit's not there and they're pointing to church fathers, you know, um, talking about how these pagan rituals would no longer work in a town where where there were Christians and so they would kill the Christians or whatever so that their rituals and their magic could work again. So they're saying, oh, you get rid of the, the church and the Holy Spirit isn't there to stop all the demonic activity. That That's kind of the, the idea of it. Um, problem is, these same people and almost every single person I've ever heard say, that they believe that the church or the specifically the Holy Spirit is the restrainer that is going to be removed from the earth. Um, they also believe that there will be a bunch of people that will realize, oh, the rapture happened. I got to, I got to repent. I got to turn to the Lord. You know, the whole you've been left behind idea. And they also believe often is taught that the 144,000 will be often called Jewish uh, missionaries or whatever, um, that they will be preaching the gospel. Um, so how are you going to have people repenting, turning to the Lord, and the 12,000 from each tribe preaching the gospel and also angels later on also preach the gospel how is it possible for people to repent if the Holy Spirit is taken from the earth it it doesn't make any sense um, and even if you say oh well it's the church you know it's the church it's not the Spirit of God himself but actually the church that's filled with the Spirit taken out well what happens when those people are converted they're then given the spirit and they're now the spirits back on the earth so as soon as the uh, spirit would be taken out of the way the spirit would just come right back and the blocking mechanism would be in place immediately so 
it doesn't make any logical sense. It doesn't, it's not cohesive with the idea of where can I flee from your presence? If I make my bed in hell, you are there. The Spirit of God was hovering over the waters prior to even the creation of man, mankind. There, wa there was no man. There was no beast. There were no pigs for spirits to go into. The Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. So the notion that the Spirit of God is going to be taken away or removed, and that's what reveals Antichrist, to me is completely un unlogical, illogical, unbiblical, and it just it doesn't make any sense so please come up with a new theory <laughs> I'm open to the other suggestions it just to keep perpetuating this idea especially because you're you're trying to continue to promote a pre-tribulation rapture um, ideology it, it just it just doesn't work there has to be another answer again I don't know what the restrainer is but to me, it makes zero sense to say that the restrainer is the Holy Spirit slash the church. All right, that's it for